Hey, everybody, really fascinating chat today as we talk about bringing authenticity, trust, and recognition to the world of AI. Really interesting topic around the blockchain and beyond with Kathiga from Verix. How are you? Evan, so great to be here. Um, trust truly is the million dollar word in today's world of AI, and I'm excited to delve more into it. Yeah, I'm really excited by your value proposition and personal story. Let's start with that. Maybe introductions to yourself, yeah. your biography, and what led you to Verix. Uh, um, Evan, I am a builder at heart. I was most recently the first employee for Facebook in India, their managing director for India and South Asia. Uh, wow. What I did there has um, uh, big connects to what I'm doing today in that my first uh, job there was to build one of their four global operations offices that now serves over 3 billion users where we had to look at everything from are you a real user, a fake user, impersonation, hacking, all of that. My co-founder um, led the creator economy um, and news entertainment. So a lot of questions around fake news, fake media, uh, what's real, what's not. And um, then you bring that to today's age of AI, where that question has just exploded and it has even more significance. Between that role um, and my current role, um, I also did revenue for both Asia Pacific, Facebook, um, Meta, um, and for India, grew that to the first uh, several hundred million, um, now several billions, um, and uh, came back to headquarters, emerging markets role. Started missing the startup ecosystem, was uh, the first female investment partner at SoftBank, uh, invested in enterprise, HR tech, mental wellness, quantum computing, um, and the thesis was AI is transforming every industry as we know it. As I saw what was happening with AI and blockchain, jumped right back into building uh, with Verix. Wow, fantastic story. So let's get to the topic at hand. Uh, the joke is on the internet, you trust no one or nothing which is kind of almost true, sadly. So how are you bringing a fresh, new, smarter approach to uh, authenticity and verification? What's the big idea behind Verix? Evan, um, with blockchain, for the first time, you have the ability to have an authenticated digital asset. You can determine who has issued things. You can determine who owns it. You can determine transfer of ownership. Um, and um, uh, while I am a huge proponent of AI, um, to me, actually, AI and blockchain go hand in hand uh, because with AI, the question of is this real, is this human, is this AI is going to come up, has already come up, and that pace is only going to increase. Uh, you combine that with blockchain, that lets you have that answer to is this real. Um, and to me, those are the two magical components. So we have an AI-powered blockchain platform. Uh, we work with um, clients like a Netflix, so from big tech to nonprofits like Room to Read, uh, where we help them answer that question um, to determine proof of work, skills, accomplishments, um, awards, uh, uh, content, products, and more. Um, and uh, very, very excited uh, about uh, the momentum that we are seeing uh, and the tailwind that AI gives us to uh, really transform the space and define the industry standard for verification. Amazing. So you have this concept or approach called living certificates. Yeah. Sounds fascinating, um, as opposed to something off the shelf or static. Uh, what's the idea behind that? How does it work? How does it give uh, authenticity to uh, you know accomplishments or credentials or titles or what, what have you? Um, it's patent pending technology, Evan, and um, the beauty of blockchain technology is that it lets you have this living immutable journey. Um, I'll give you a real uh, a real world example. Uh, we partner with a company called a Mom Relaunch, and that's another big passion area of mine, working mothers, moms returning back to work. Uh, this is an incredible organization that um, uh, helps moms through their journey of gaining specific skills, um, being assigned to specific projects, um, um, certifications and courses. So as they start, they get a certificate that says you are part of this mom relaunch journey. And as they pick up these certifications, they get certified for specific skills, complete specific projects. The certificate updates and it's a living certificate that lets you track your journey. 
Uh, the applications are immense, uh, Evan. Uh, think about this even in, say, the event space. Um, so we work with events. I was, I'm actually dialing in from India, where I was speaking at Thai Global Summit, which is a mega a summit with tens of thousands of attendees from all over the globe, really. Uh, and um, we issued certificates for every single type of participant, whether you're an attendee or an exhibitor, a sponsor. The minute that it's living, it means that you can now do things like loyalty. Um, you can track who engaged in between the events. You can say this is your, you come to this event three times, four times, make connections in really interesting way. So that's the concept, Evan. And I promise you now that you have heard, you have heard of it, you're going to see application in, in all facets of, uh, of life and work. I bet. Uh, so many use cases. It's hard to tackle them all. One that I'm looking at on your website is tackling fraud in HR, you know, bad actors passing off counterfeit degrees or skill certificates, uh, certifications. Um, that's rampant in the industry. So, so how does the platform work? How would it detect, prevent that kind of fraud, for example, uh, to trust, you know, a resume or achievements? So, Evan, we work with issuing organizations. So we would work with, for example, the TV Awards. Uh, they are recognizing their jury members who um, bring in their expertise and help find uh, the right winners, as one example. Uh, so we work with them. Um, they certify who the, the, the jury members are. Um, we have a seamless process where um, we issue the certificates and with one click, they get distributed. With another click, the recipients can claim it and share it across social media. Uh, and even if you go to LinkedIn, even if you go to my LinkedIn, there's a there are a number of different things that it's really hard to verify. You will see, for example, it says, you know, R.J. Miller Scholar, uh, again, Stanford Business School. No one has a time to verify that. <laughs> and so a lot of decision gets made. And so whoever knows if it's really true or not, it really is true, but it will take your time to find that out. And what we want to do is to make that instantaneous and really bend the cost of verification so that people who have the credentials can really bubble up to the top um, and the bad actors um, do not um, do that. And you can make the distinction um, between the two. Um, so on LinkedIn, then you will see this extra button that says show credential that lets you verify what the actual credential is. You can actually change the text on LinkedIn to say whatever, but the show credential will pop up the, the ledger entry uh, on blockchain that says who it has been issued by, who it has been issued to on all of the specifics of what that certificate entails, Evan. Wow, brilliant. And this can have really meaningful, even gosh, life or death consequences. If you think about healthcare, you all, we all go into your doctor's office and they have their diplomas and degrees and organizations on the wall. And they're, you know, it's nice to showcase those, but you know, beyond being printed on nice paper and framed, not exactly uh, guaranteed authentic or portable or, you know, easily to share, uh, particularly when it comes to healthcare credentials that could be really uh, impactful. Uh, I assume lots of industries like healthcare will, uh, could use this kind of uh, portability and shareability as well. Evan, such an important point. Um, this really impacts both livelihoods and it mm. impacts various aspects of how these certificates are used, including in healthcare. Uh, the beauty, by the way, of what we do is uh, that uh, people can print out these certificates and mm. even the printed version has a QR code that leads mm. to your digital avatar. And so even in its physical version, you can authenticate and validate and make sure that it's not just another beautifully printed PDF <laughs> that anyone can hack. Evan, actually, if you go today to Google and if you type in uh, fake diplomas, you will get a few 4.9 rated uh, uh, companies <laughs> that tells you get your fake diploma within a day. It lets you choose Harvard, Stanford, whatever university you want, lets you choose your GPA. And so that is where things are. Uh, and with what's happening with the ease of design and with AI, that pace of how that is being used is only increasing. 
I bet. Yeah, I've always wanted to go to Harvard. They wouldn't have me, but maybe I can, you know, get that diploma after all. <laughs> that's that's such I didn't know that. That's actually pretty terrible. Um yeah. uh, the other use case that I'm I'm seeing on your website that looks really interesting is, you know, making recognition and awards feel more personal, impactful across different environments, uh, particularly for remote workers, like you said, moms working from home. Uh, how does that work? And how do you see that being uh, adopted in the enterprise? Uh, Evan, that's a personal favorite of mine. Um, recognition is so important. And um, the workforce overall is seeing a huge recognition crisis. So that's one factor. And the other, especially when you think of Gen Z, Gen Z really needs that ongoing input feedback of how they are doing. Um, and then you add in the vector of hybrid work, but you can't give that context on an ongoing basis. So leaders, managers, HR uh, professionals across the world have to take that extra mile to fill that gap. Um, and where Verix beautifully comes in is with the ability to have these immutable, permanent blockchain certificates that you can share with employees. One example, uh, Evan, uh, I know how you stress on real world uh, use cases. So Amdocs, um, you know, an incredible um, company, mm. um, they used our uh, solutions for both recognizing professionals who were being trained for being Gen AI ready. Uh, so recognizing both the skills that they had gotten, the work that they were doing, but they also recognized what Asaf Jacobi, the um, SVP of HR said, are skills that are not, not that are only recognizable by people, like people management, leadership, and the like. Uh, and these were then issued on Verix, given to these employees, they announced it in a town hall. Uh, the employees could then share it with one click um, on LinkedIn, any social media. Uh, and Evan, you, as as you know, you use this phrase. We are not the old, boring, fakeable, static certificates. We are dynamic. It can be animation. There are some mm. uh, companies that partner with us and say they want a red carpet like feel, uh, so we can do that uh, as well. Uh, and what you can do is also attach a whole bunch of engagement capabilities. You know, think of a congratulatory video that comes from the CEO or from the manager. Mm. Uh, it's Beautiful, Evan, to see that people take this home and they share it with their family and their friends. Um, and um, so it really allows you to amplify the recognition and make it lasting, visible, um, and verifiable globally. Oh, so exciting. Yeah. So, so anyone out. thinking <laughs> about President Sales Club, anyone thinking about recognizing their recruiters, any kind of recognition. We have companies like DB Singh that are using it for year-round recognition. Uh, it's it's a, a personal favorite use case of mine, Evan. Oh, I love that, and that's uh, really fun. Uh, let's geek out for a uh, for a minute. Um, you know, tech professionals understand how you know Bitcoin and and crypto is is based on the blockchain, and uh, you know you understand about immutability and tamper proof and transparency of transactions. But how does so talk us through how you leverage the blockchain for credentials and how it works sort of on the back end of your system yeah. when it comes to trust. Totally. So we are built on um, Polygon was the first blockchain that we were built on. Mm. Polygon is also an investor uh, in the company. Uh, and we over the past year, we also went multi-chain and also support scale. So we now have multiple blockchain protocols that we support. Uh, we are based on the open badges protocol, which also makes things completely interoperable and globally verifiable. So that's the core technology stack, Evan, uh, which then makes it, again, uh, at some level independent of us. We are the issuing organization and uh, these protocols make it such that it can be trusted, verifiable, immutable, even independent of uh, Verix. Brilliant. Well, it sounds like a really great approach. You mentioned patents earlier. Maybe you can talk about your patent application in the works and what's the patent for and what other you know intellectual property are you investing in right now? Um, Evan, uh, we have done a whole uh, bunch of work to make blockchain really invisible to the user. Um, in fact, the one of the first um, uh, inbound that we got was from an incredible organization 
uh, woman in cloud that was aiming for a Guinness World Record. And um, they wanted to be able to batch their winners of this of the Guinness World Record. And they told us that they had evaluated a bunch of other platforms. Every other platform required a very high degree of technical knowledge from their user mm -hmm. to know what a wallet is and a bunch of other acronyms uh, from Web3. Uh, and for the first time, they they saw a platform that abstracted all of that. And given where Saurabh and I come from, scale and simplicity are what we think about and obsess um, about. Um, and so we have completely abstracted all of that. Um, people can log in with, uh, you know, uh, their regular handles. Um, it could be Gmail, it could be LinkedIn, uh, and be able to claim uh, these certificates, be able to showcase them wherever mm -hmm. uh, they want to showcase them uh, and have it be globally verifiable by employers, um, by anyone who wants to verify the, their credentials. Fantastic. And what's next? What are you excited about as we head into 2025? You must see more opportunities and use cases and advancements yeah. in the technology. What's what's on your radar? Uh, Evan, the biggest thing that we're working on is being seamlessly integrated into a whole bunch of different enterprise workflow. I spoke about the event um, use cases. Uh, it's act it's so transparent to a user. The user just logs in through their event management tool and they get these certificates issued that they can then go share out. We have an integration with Zoom. So uh, if you mm -hmm. were um, doing a Zoom session, at the end of it, you could get you know blockchain credentials. And by the way, they're living. So you could also track mm -hmm. the engagement across, um, uh, across the year uh, and the years. Uh, integration uh, with Salesforce, um, uh, with the mom relaunch example, um, how is it that whatever they're doing in their system triggers the, the right um, updates on our end? Um, so, so think about us as being that system of record of credentials that captures things across a whole bunch of different systems, if you may. Um, I'm calling in from India. I just visited Sri City. I met with universities like Kriya. Um, they have a number of different systems from their uh, academic credentialing to um, who's volunteering, who has gotten um, the entrepreneurship award. How can you tie in all of these systems into one set of credentials that gets updated on an ongoing basis? So that's one big area of innovation. Um, another big area is actually design. Um, we are, if you look at the designs, they truly are geared for the next gen. And if we step back, Evan, if you think about how credentialing has worked, you know, grandparents, parents, my children, mm -hmm. they all, it's largely been the same. Uh, and we are bringing much needed disruption uh, and bringing them into this digital immutable permanent world, Evan. Love it. Love the partnerships. Uh, I know Eric Wan from Zoom personally, and he's a follower and Mark Benioff as well on social media. So hopefully he's listening. Michael Dell from Dell. So all of these companies could leverage you in just incredible ways on the front end or back end of the business. Uh, what's next for you personally? Do you have any travel or events coming up? I'll be at CES. I don't know if you're you're I'm heading there. Or... Yes, on the sixth, and so I look forward to catching up while we're there, uh, Evan. And it'll be great. Uh, we have some big news coming at CES. Me personally, and one of uh, our mutual business partners. So. I won't uh, spoil the news, but uh, lots of going on uh, around awards and credentialing and achievements. So look forward to some big announcements at CES. Very exciting. And I look forward to yes, toasting to all of your big accomplishments. All right. Now thank you. And likewise. Year and in, oh, into the next year. It's going to be a fantastic year and a fantastic CES, probably the best one ever. And congrats on all the success onwards and upwards. Yeah, and Evan, everyone who appeared on your shows, you should give them a, a, a credential and a badge, and it would be very oh, meaningful for them. Oh, my gosh. Why didn't I think of that? That's the, the most brilliant idea ever. Yeah. Okay. And, and well, with, I'm, a I'm, video, with a video for it. So people can badge their partners, their um, use the users of their platform, the admins of their platforms. Again, I promise you you will see these use cases all over. Brilliant. Well, I hope Joe Rogan doesn't steal this idea first, but if I can get to it first, I'm all in. So thanks so much, awesome. Kathika. Really amazing work. And thanks everyone for listening, watching, and sharing as always. All right, take care.